I'm gonna show you how to customize and 3D track Minecraft animations using CC Leaf, just like this. For this tutorial, I'll be using Premiere Pro and After Effects because of their simplicity. So to begin, have your scene ready just like I do over here. And now you wanna click your clip and use Control C to copy it. Now let's open After Effects. Once you're in After Effects, simply create a composition. And now you can Control V to paste the clip we just copied. There you go. And before we 3D track, let's find the animations we want for this clip. Now I want an animation behind the crafting table showing my inventory and an animation tracked on this side of the crafting table showing what I'm crafting. So let's Let's head over to CC Leaf. Once you're in the website, simply click the ultimate icon to sort the animations and let's go down to page number two. And as you can see, this one fits the criteria for the inventory animation. Now in the animation, I want to crop just this box over here and I don't want anything else. So to begin, let's set the colors. I'm going to make everything a shade of blue. Alrighty, now that I've set the colors, I'm going to simply head to values and change it to 60 FPS. And I'm also going to hide the background cube particles and the player itself. Alright, and since I was wearing diamond armor in the scene, I'm going to change these four items to diamond armor. Now to replace these items, simply click the slot. And now let's head to something called MC Icons, a site where you can get every Minecraft PNG for completely free. So let's search for diamond. And here we can see all of the armor. By clicking a PNG and holding it, then going into CC Leaf and dropping it, you can simply apply the image. And Let's repeat that for the rest of the three pieces. There we go. Also in my offhand, I was holding an axe. So let's go to values and under toggle check slots. Let's toggle slot number five. And now we can drag the PNG directly into the slot. Finally, since we're only going to crop this box, let's change the blurriness of the background to 75. And with everything done, we can click preview changes. Finally, and that looks awesome. Now all I'm gonna do is just change the text to say player and just completely remove all of this UI text. Now let's preview that. Now that it's done, let's simply click the green button to export it. Then download it and drop it right into After Effects. Now let's get the final animation. So let's search for crafting and let's choose this one right over here. Now to begin, let's go into the values and let's change the GUI shake intensity all the way to zero. Then finally change each of the images and disable any slots you don't need. And finally, once you're done modifying the animation, simply click preview. Perfect. Now let's export and download that. Now that we have both of our animations in After Effects, let's begin tracking our main clip. So to begin, click your clip and go into the tracker menu. If you do not see it, go to window at the top of After Effects and find the tracker tab. Now simply select track camera and it might take a minute or two. So let it analyze. Now that it's done analyzing, you'll see all of these points across our clip. And if I hover over any of the points, you'll see a big red target. If you aren't getting the right points that you need, you can always go into advanced and do a detailed analysis. But for our example, since we have good lighting, we don't need it. So let's begin by selecting the first target and that'll be right over here on the ground. So if you right click on the target, you can create a solid and a camera. Now you should see a newly created square and in place of the square is going to be our animation over here. So before we do anything, let's cut out the animation. If you select your clip and go to the pen tool at the top, simply zoom in and make a very precise cutout of the box or whatever animation it is. And there you go. Now that it's done, you'll see we have just the box isolated. Now we can unhide our main clip and begin tracking this animation. Now I want this animation in place of where this pink square is, but the crafting table is in the way. So let's hide our track solid in animation. Then select your clip and click the rotor brush icon at the top. Now double click your preview and you'll see this big window open up. Now if you get a red bar like I do, just simply click anywhere and then control Z. Now you'll see the red bar is gone. So as you can see, this blue bar at the bottom is our entire clip. So we can just scroll through it. Now position your playhead at the beginning of the clip and if you zoom in and drag your mouse you'll see it makes a purple outline we're basically gonna trace around the crafting table so to begin zoom in and make a subtle outline around your object now let's let the brush do the work after this so you can see it's kind of messy so to remove these edges simply hold alt and drag around the edges to take all of that excess stuff out and if you want to keep things in simply drag without holding alt now let's fix up the outline now, once you got your outline, simply click spacebar and let the brush analyze the rest of the frames. If your clip has good lighting, you'll see that the brush does a really good job of outlining. If the outline breaks, you can always pause, fix it and play to let the brush analyze from that point forward. Now, once the brush is done analyzing, you'll see that your entire clip plays back smoothly. And I'm pretty happy with the outline. So now I can simply click the freeze button. And this is like publishing changes. It basically finalizes everything. Awesome. Once it's done freezing, simply click the X to exit out. And now you'll see the crafting table is cut out. So 
simply duplicate your clip and on the bottom clip, remove the rotor brush effect. Also on your top clip, remove the 3D camera tracker. And there you go. Then move the top clip on top of everything. Now, if we unhide our solid, you'll see that the solid is now behind the crafting table. And if we unhide our animation and click the 3D icon, you'll see it's in 3D space now. Finally, hold shift and hold this pick whip icon and drag it to the one on the solid. And you'll see that it's now in place of the solid. So now let's unparent that and we can hide the solid for now because we won't need it anymore. Finally, I want this animation to kind of stand on the ground. So let's make those adjustments. And once you're done your adjustments like this, we can add a few effects to make it look cool. Now, if you're in the advanced or the cinema render like I am, go to classic because we don't need any advanced effects for this tutorial. Now let's add a bit of a floating effect to this animation and let's search for linear wipe. Now apply the effect to the animation and set the angle to zero. Finally, increase the transition completion and the feather to give this cool effect. You can also adjust it to fit your liking. And honestly, I'm pretty happy with that. I can maybe just orient it slightly outwards. And there we go. Finally, let's track our second animation on the face of the crafting table. So if we go back to our bottom clip with the camera tracker effect, you can check this option and then uncheck it to show the targets again. Finally, let's select the target on the face of the crafting table like that and create a solid. Now let's unhide our second animation and make it 3D as well. You can see it kind of moved out of the scene, but all we have to do is simply shift and drag this pick whip icon to the one of the new solid. Now let's hide that solid and move the animation up so it goes over the crafting table. And finally, with a bit of adjustment, we can finalize the animation. Now I'm going to adjust this slightly. I'm going to show you a cool trick. First, let's begin by slowing down this animation by holding Alt and dragging the layer outwards. Now you'll see the animation isn't really 60 FPS. If you prefer 60 like I do, simply click the layer and look for this icon over here. If you don't see any of these icons, simply click it at the bottom left to show them. Now you wanna tap the icon and then tap it once more. Basically what this does is it analyzes every frame of the animation and it basically fakes 60 or 120 FPS. So now let's play back the entire animation. And that is perfect. So I hope y'all learned the power of CC Leaf and 3D tracking animations to make your videos the best they can be. And remember, keep on creating.